Hey guys and welcome to the Hackinons YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn how to know if an object has an attribute in Python. So without further wasting time, let's get into the video. So for those who do not know, a class is basically a blueprint of an object and attributes are basically known as the variables of an object. So what I've done is I simply created a simple Python class that is named as my class. And then I've created an init method that is an initialization method that initializes certain variables at creation of an object. So at every initiation of an object, I'm creating a data attribute and I'm equating it to the value of X, Y, Z. Then I'm creating an object of the variable named OBJ and I'm equating it to the class's name. So now if I simply print the object, let's see the output. It says main dot my class object. So basically it's an object of the my class class. And if I try to print its attribute that is data, I can get the value X, Y, Z. But let's say I'm trying to print some information, let's say data two, and there's no such attribute present here. So if I go to print that, I will simply come through across an attribute error saying that my class object has no attribute data to. But let's see if there's any possible method of knowing certain data exists or not. Well, Python has a method that is called as has attribute. So this function will help us to understand and infer whether a class has certain attribute name. So to make use of it, it's really simple. Just make a create an if statement and let's call the function has attribute. So it just has a H A S has a T T R, which means has attribute. And inside the parenthesis, you will first put the object name and then inside and the next argument will simply be a string of the attribute that you want to search for. So if in this case, I want to search and check whether a, a data of the attribute name data exists. And if I print it, if that exists, then I will print a statement saying that attribute exists. Else I would say that attribute does not exist. So I'll just create an else statement and let me just copy down the same line of code, copy it, paste here. I'll say attribute does not exist. Well, fine. This looks pretty easy. And now just let's run this program. And as you can see on the output window, it simply gives us a print statement saying that attribute exists because the data is clearly visible over here. Likewise, if I try to check for some attribute called as data to and run this program, it goes to the else condition printing attribute does not exist simply because data to attribute is not defined. Likewise, if I try to define data to, and let me define that as quickly as possible, A, B, C. And if I run this, now it works perfect. And now it goes to the if condition and says attribute exists. Well, you can also make use of the has attribute function to check if certain method exists in a class. So now I want to check from the string class if the method lower exists or not. Okay. So if you do not know, lower is simply a method used to lower case all characters present inside a string. So we will confirm that using the has attribute. So what I'm going to say is, is has, if has attribute and first I'm going to specify the object name that is string. And inside the parenthesis, I will put comma lower. I want to check if the lower method exists. And then I'll just print a statement saying that method exists. Else, I'll just copy this down quickly as possible. And print saying that method does not exist. Okay. And now if I run this, as you can see, it says method exists. Because, because lower is a common method used in the string library. Likewise, if I try to change something and name it as lower case, and this shows method does not exist because there's no such method called as lower case defined in the inbuilt library class of the string object. So that's it from this really quick video. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like and share it with your friends and subscribe to the Hackinons YouTube channel for more fun and interesting videos. 